You may be seated. I'd like to introduce you to someone this morning. His name is Mike Herndon. He is a graduate of Sir Francis Drake High School, class of 1970. And this is the year of his 50th class reunion. Since he graduated, a few things have changed. I have worked in the semiconductor industry for 25 years as a systems and data analyst, and just have just started my fourth year as the treasurer of the Oregon Virtual Academy Board of Directors. When they asked me to speak to you today on behalf of the board, I hadn't made the connection between your graduation and mine. Connecting the two made me start to think about my high school days, and it didn't take me long to notice a few differences. My school didn't have any computers. Computers as we know them today didn't exist. They were made from magnetic core memory and vacuum tubes. Your cell phones have more computing power than a whole gymnasium of those machines. If I needed to do research, I went to the library. If I wanted to hang out with my friends, I talked my dad out of the car keys and cruised Fort Street with him. Phones were connected to the wall with a wire and some still had dials on the front. There are only three television networks. No internet, no Facebook, no Google. Amazon was still a river in Brazil, and Apple was what you could find in your lunch bag on a good day. But if you don't know what a slide rule is, Google it. The Soviet Union still existed, and there were two Germanies separated by a wall. That wall was built to keep people in. I guess the reason I wanted to share all this was to say two things. First, the next 50 years will bring changes that will sound as strange as suggesting to my classmates that companies like Netflix or Zoom would exist or that Disney had purchased Marvel Comics. We didn't know Star Wars, Star Trek, or Harry Potter. What will it be like for you? Analytics, artificial intelligence, electric self-driving cars, and virtual reality gaming will be old and maybe obsolete technology. Some will be working in manufacturing plants on the moon or in colonies on Mars. Most of it though, is still stuff we can't even imagine. Second, one of the things that I did not mention in the list of things that have changed was school. Schools operate much the same way they did back then. Whiteboards were replaced by chalkboards. DVD players have been replaced, have replaced the 16 millimeter projectors. And there are computers in the classroom, but that's about it. And then there's you. You have learned in a whole new environment, as different as telephones are from mobile devices. You have learned how to learn for yourself and have done an incredible job of it. As we have observed your progress as the board of directors, we have been very impressed by the progress you have made. And we are very proud of the work that you've done. What is interesting to me is that if you enrolled in college for next year and expect to attend classes on campus, you may be asked to engage in what they call distance learning. It will be familiar to you. You call it school. You will not struggle like your classmates or your teachers for that matter. Even if that is not the case, you will have the advantage wherever you go of being familiar with existing technology and the ability to learn skills on your own. The future is on the horizon and it belongs to you. The next 50 years should be quite interesting. In June of 1970, the number one song on the charts was by the Beatles and from their Let It Be album. It was called The Long and Winding Road. And it has been that for me. And most likely it will be that way for you too. Safe travels and Godspeed. Thank you.